Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 26, 2020. Uh, and we are going to look at these five currency pairs. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to uh, click on the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we saw last week uh, a big rise on the Monday to Wednesday, and then on Thursday and Friday, we uh, we pulled back a little bit towards the 50 moving average. We are at the moment uh, still trading above the 50 moving average. So I had to say this is the sterling and the US dollar. So we pulled back towards the 50 moving average. However, we are at this moment trading above the 50 moving average. One main of the re main reason why we pulled back is because uh, the US dollar index it appreciated, and um, and of course that is, has a, a negative effect on this currency pair. But the technical indicators for this currency pair are looking quite dim at this point. Uh, we still have the stochastic that it is is bullish. We also have the MACD that is bullish, but the RSI and the CCI and also the Bollinger Band are pointing to lower levels. So it may well be that we'll test the 50 moving average first. We'll certainly find significant resist support at the 100 moving average, and that is around here at the 1292. And if that breaks, then of course we'll go all the way to the 150 moving average at 1275. Uh, if we break up, uh, if we pull, uh, if we find support at the 50 moving average and continue uh, to go higher, then first we have to break this um, um, candlestick here that is at 13016, and then we basically go to these highs. Um, pay attention to the, uh, to the um, US dollar index that has an effect, and it will most likely appreciate. Um, the next one or two trading days and that also makes sense for this currency pair that we'll will go a little bit lower before we go higher so you look at us dollar yen we basically fell quite drastically uh, on wednesday oh on tuesday is it and so we found major resistance at the 50 moving week average, as expected. We have been staying in this area for quite some time. And usually when you basically can't break to the upside, you break to the downside. So we break, broke quite heavily to the downside on Wednesday. And um, on Thursday, we were basically, basically going back and forward. The same goes for Friday. We were just going back and forward. I... It may well be that we'll go and uh, retest the 20 exponential moving average. Most of these indicators are indicating that we are, at this point, oversold, for example. And the CCI is pointed to, to higher levels. MACD is very negative, and so is uh, uh, sarcastic. But the Bollinger Band is basically at the bottom. And usually when this happens, it has uh, tendencies to pull back towards the 20 moving average, which would be around 105. Basically, no interest in basically buying this. Um, this is basically selling every rally. So when we rally up towards the 20 moving average or the 50 moving average, then it's basically a time to sell. So we are trading within this channel. We have done that for several months now, and there is no indication that we won't do that for the foreseeable future. So we may pull back towards the, the 50 or 20 moving average and then head back towards this trend line. So Euro, US dollar, we rallied quite significantly. We found major uh, support at the 50 moving average on Thursday, and then we rallied on Friday. However, we did not manage to get past the highs of, uh, of uh, Wednesday session. So at this point, we may just stick around here for some time. We may pull back towards the 50 moving average again. And the reason why I say that is mainly because the, the stochastic has basically turned around quite aggressively. We are also quite overstretched here at the, uh, the bullish band. And uh, we can look at the CCI. It is basically also pointing to lower levels. However, the RSI, the RSI and the MACD are still quite bullish for this market. 
So if we broke to the upside, then we will find major resistance around this area here. You can see also that's where we found resistant on, on Wednesday. And the further, uh, if we break down those levels, we'll go to 1196 and then to the size of 1201 or 1200. If we break below the 50 moving average, we'll find major support at the the 100 moving average at 11.70. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we rallied on on the Tuesday all the way to the Friday, found resistant at the 40 exponential moving average. However, the technical indicators for this uh, this pair are very um, bullish at this point. So it's it's quite certain that we'll go all the way to the 50 moving average. Um, if we break the 50 moving average, you have it here at around uh, 0 0.72. That is to be seen. We tried to do that a few weeks ago, but we didn't. Uh, we did not uh, manage that. We have to break the 50 moving average. Have a green candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to see whether or not we go higher. Otherwise, we just uh, have a continuation of what basically happened um, a few weeks ago. A pullback from here will find major support at the 150 moving average of 0 0.70. So US dollar, Canadian dollar. So we have significant resistance above at the 50, 20 and the 40 exponential moving average. We, uh, we have basically been on decline. We rallied quite significantly on Wednesday and then we gave back on Thursday and on Friday. The technical indicators are fairly mixed for, for this currency pair. We are in the downtrend. This was not a breakout. This was basically the US dollar index appreciating and then it's basically pushing this currency pair higher. At this point, if we have a decline in the US dollar index, we we'll may see this market completely collapse to the downside. I do believe in, in time we will basically go and retest this um, the upper uh, trend line of this channel. If you look at the uh, technical indicators, they are quite mixed at this point. MACD is uh, trading below the signal line, uh, trending below the true signal line. The RSI is almost overshot. We're at 37. The CCI is quite flat. The stochastic is about to turn around. Whether or not we cross the signal line, that is to be seen on Monday session. And the MACD Bollinger Band is pointed also to uh, lower levels that will probably most likely go towards the lower part of this Bollinger Band, which is at 1306. No interest in basically buying this. There's just too much resistance uh, above. Uh, every rally is basically a selling opportunity for this currency pair. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.